Good morning, everyone. As you uh, have learned, we have identified uh, another fraudulent scam that is aimed at targeting a portion of our most vulnerable population, and, and that's our elderly. Um, the good news is, is we were able to identify at least two suspects involved in this case now. We do believe there are more suspects involved. We'll continue working. Uh, and along the same lines, we also believe there are more victims out here, and we'll, we'll talk about that in, in just a second. Uh, I'll give you just a few details and then open it up for uh, any type of questioning. We received an anonymous tip that there was a fraudulent scam targeting um, the elderly here in Hillsborough County. At a almost si simultaneous time, we received a call from New Jersey state authorities advising that they had a victim of a fraudulent scam and the money was being asked to be sent here in Tampa, Florida. A lot of times we see where um, criminals ask the individuals to wire money. This is the first time we've seen where they've asked them and mandated that they FedEx money to um, a hotel here. As a matter of fact, it was the roadway in on 301 that we ended up catching the suspects leaving from the two of them. But the packages that we identified, the other nine packages, and again, I, I, I guess I should be, I'd be remiss if I didn't back up a second and thank FedEx of Tampa that have been so cooperative with us. Once we made them aware that this fraudulent scam was, was happening, they immediately became cooperative and, and helped us out. Uh, and I believe we're going to end up identifying victims because of their assistance. But these packages were being sent to different and uh, various hotels here, here in Tampa. Uh, again, because of someone being brave enough to come forward uh, knowing that they were taken advantage of and this victim was scammed out of uh, almost eleven thousand dollars because he was brave enough to come forward this 79 year old victim were able to return his money back to him again we have two suspects under arrest the first one is dontavius oakley he is being charged with organized fraud grand theft second degree and he also was on felony probation for fleeing to elude police. Carlton Thomas, who was driving the car when we made the traffic stop as they left the hotel, is wanted on a fugitive warrant out of New Jersey. We're still trying to figure out what that fugitive warrant was for. He also was in possession of a counterfeit driver's license. He has none and was using a counterfeit license. Um, we are still determining what his charges will be in regards to this case. Again, so far, we know we've identified nine victims. There were nine packages coming from as near as Plant City, New Jersey, California, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, Mississippi, Missouri, Ohio, Oregon, and Texas. So we're pretty confident that there's more victims out there. And total so far in cash that we recovered is $78,000 that these nine victims have been defrauded out, out of. Again, this latest scam is calling these elderly victims and saying that you have a virus on your computer and I'm the only one that can remove it. And if you pay a certain amount of money, I will remove that virus from you so you can continue to use your computer. Um, horrible that individuals still believe that they should be making a profit off the good nature of the elderly citizens in any of these communities. They weren't, and uh, we, we don't know exactly how they identified the victims. You know, it wasn't even just here in Hillsborough County. It was a, it's across the country. So we're not sure what they used to identify these elderly um, victims. We're still trying to figure that out. Um, still, still trying to figure a, a, a lot of it out. Uh, again, they were just placed them under arrest. They're not being very cooperative, so we're having to do a, a lot of heavy lifting until we can get to this point. We reached out to the one victim, so we have some knowledge from him, and all he was able to relay is they told him he had a virus on his computer. He's not computer savvy, like me and probably a lot of us in this room, to know whether there's a virus on our computer or, or not on our computer. Um, so he felt the only way to fix this or remedy the situation was to pay the money. After he did, uh, this happened on February 19th. It was supposed to be delivered on the 20th. He knew something didn't feel right. And again, I think a lot of our elderly are embarrassed that they feel that like they were taken advantage of, so they never come forward. 
He didn't. He called the New Jersey, New Jersey State authorities, who immediately contacted us. And because of him, we were able to recover eight more victims that we haven't been in contact with. We're still working to identify them. Sure. It is, and I think that's an, an important, important message to get out there is none of these large companies, these computer software companies, are going to call you and make you aware of a virus or ask you um, to make payment to be able to remedy these viruses. And that's important. That's an important message. No one's ever going to call you. No different than the IRS. The IRS isn't making any phone calls to anybody to discuss your tax returns and money that you have to pay or the scams that target that call and proclaim that your grandson's been put in jail. They don't want the parents to know. So please wire me the money and they don't have to know and he'll call you when he gets out. Or he or she will call you when it gets out. Again, just like a lot of these scams, if it sounds too good to be true, if it sounds too real, most likely it is. Marissa, do you have that information? I don't. Yeah, we'll get those out to you. Uh, matter of fact, we talk about nine. Um, this morning, we first came in, it was seven. Uh, FedEx called us, and two additional packages were brought to the center last night for morning delivery today. So there's no doubt in my mind there's more packages coming, and more importantly, there's more victims out there. Um, but we'll get those other locations to you. They are. Uh, any, anything coming to address to certain individuals that we've identified, uh, certain locations that we have now identified, they're flagging those, those packages and calling us. Again, they called us first thing this morning and said, hey, good news, bad news, we have two more packages we've identified. And they have a phenomenal policy. If they believe that any package is deal, deals with any type of fraud, their policy allows them to open the package. And again, it was another $11,000 that was identified this morning. Sheriff, do you believe, would you be surprised if it turns out that this, these suspects were just putting out hundreds of phone calls and seeing which ones stick? No, that's, that's, that's usually the, the method of operation here. Um, they feel if they, can, if they can get one out of five callers, one out of ten callers, it was worth their effort. So they're, that's exactly what they're doing. These individuals will just make mass phone calls until they can get to a subject that they, that they feel is vulnerable, and then they exploit that vulnerability and end up defrauding these, these elderly, uh, this portion of our elderly community, out of thousands and thousands of dollars. So would, would you be going through phone records then uh, that just to see who, how many they were calling? We will. We'll end up going through phone records. Uh, we'll end up seizing computers. There's a lot that we have to do. Again, we just placed these individuals under arrest uh, last evening, so we have a lot of follow-up work to do. Uh, the reason for the sense of urgency on, on getting in front of the media is, again, to ask for your help to, to get the message out here. We know there's more victims out here. And if you've had any dealings with either one of these subjects or another subject that you believe that shares a similar type of operation being that you were defrauded, please call the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office or whatever jurisdiction you happen to be in. Last question. Any idea how long they've been pulling this off for or how big their network is? We don't. We're still trying to work that out. With FedEx, it's, it's overnight. It's two-day delivery. So we only have a quick snapshot of the last couple, couple days from the 19th to the 21st. We're still trying to gather that historical data, data and hopefully we'll get that from cell phones, computers, and everything that we're going to have to get search warrants for and, and comb through.